It's plastic, it's most likely beige, and it sounds like this. Chances are, if you grew up in the United States, you've played a recorder. It was a non-negotiable part of your elementary school education. And for that, you can thank this guy, Karl Orff, a passionate German composer. Originally, the recorder was handcrafted, wooden, and made for the highest of society. Even Vivaldi and Bach wrote pieces for the recorder. It doesn't rely on a reed or strings, just breath. It's in the flute family. In the 1960s, the recorder started being produced out of plastic, cheap plastic. So how did it become the clumsy, awkward sound we all used to play? That's where Orff comes in. He saw the recorder as an easy way to get kids to start playing music. The logic was simple. The recorder relies on rhythm rather than memorization. If you can sing, you most likely can play it. Orff had the best of intentions to inspire the next generation of musicians. And even though they can sometimes be annoying, our hats are off to you, sir, for changing the course of music education for generations to come.